This is a yin equality problem. Yin equality looks scarier than it um, actually is. Yin equality. Okay. So the way to solve yin equality is actually pretty similar to the ones we solve yin equality. We want to isolate the x all by itself, and the rest of the stuff pretty much follows the way we solve a regular equation. We add a four on both sides. Okay. So long you add and subtract, the sign of this inequality does not change. Um, let's see, we have 3x minus 2 over 5 now, since we moved 4 over. Okay. Next thing you want to do is get rid of this 5 over here by multiplying by 5. The thing about inequality is you have to be very careful, careful when you multiply and dividing. The minute note. Okay, the minute you multiply negative numbers, when you multiply or divide negative numbers, this one, the inequality size, the size changes. Okay, here's why. If you have a 7 that's bigger than 3, okay, if you multiply by minus 1, this one becomes minus 7, this one becomes minus 3. You're going to have to change the sign to keep this one a true statement. So remember, when you're dealing with multiply and divide negative numbers, the inequality flips on itself. right? So from here, let's keep on isolating. So this is 22 over here and 3x. Lucky for us here, we have a positive 3 here. So we're going to divide it by 3 on both sides. Okay, so then we have x is bigger than 22 over 3. and here is your answer. Okay. Have a confident day.